water. It's the most abundant compound on the Earth and covers more than 70% of the planet's surface. With waterfalls, rivers and streams, it is no wonder Jamaica is called the land of wood and water. Among its many uses is the role it plays in our agriculture and the National Irrigation Commission Limited is tasked with making this efficient and effective. Well, in 1986, the NIC was established with the principal reason for developing the irrigation systems in Jamaica. Uh, because at the time, a number of irrigation entities existed, and the then government of the day felt it was prudent to ensure that there was one central irrigation authority to effectively manage the whole process of irrigation and the delivery, the service delivery to customers. The mandate of the NIC is to use available resources to provide, to develop irrigation systems and to provide the most efficient and effective service possible to the agricultural community. With its major operations in St. Catherine, St. Thomas, Clarendon, St. Elizabeth, Trelawney and St. James, the NIC manages the irrigation schemes and systems for the island. Currently, the NIC carries out a very wide range of functions and activities within the agricultural sector. Uh, principally, the development of new irrigation systems, the maintenance of already existing systems, also the development of water user associations, which is essentially to enhance the involvement and participation of farmers within the agricultural process. Another function of the NIC is to assist in the development of on-farm water management use and efficiency on farms and we have a strategic unit, a strategic on-farm water management unit within the NIC which is specifically geared towards this process. You can see behind me is a, is a dam which is really a gravity structure diverting water into a main canal and that canal um, takes it about um, five kilometers down the road and feeds the uh, farmers, sugarcane farmers, the fish farmers, uh, some uh, vegetable farmers. We also serve the National Water Commission at the Spanish Town Treatment Plant and um, the industrial customers, especially uh, ICC uh, uh, in Spanish Town. So those are the main customers that we serve. Uh, and this canal network goes all the way down to Bushy Park area. Well, here at um, the dam, we have a, a staff complement of system operators that um, operate around the clock. And once they receive the uh, information as to how much water to divert based on the demand, then they operate the canal gates. And uh, those gates now would be trying to match the demand over a 24-hour period. And as I said, the demand is from the farmers and the other users I just described. So that's on a normal day, assuming that there are no incidents of floods or other emergencies. If there's a flood, uh, we, we, we are really, in a way, linked into the warning system from the Met Office and indeed the ODP. So once um, we are put on a, on a watch, then we basically, what we are doing is we are closing off the gates so no water goes down into the area because of course we wouldn't wish to cause any flooding. At worst, if that um, storm level goes up and the, the, the river level rises, we also have some floodgates that we can open to pull the water level down 
below the crest of the dam. That, of course, is a step two in the uh, emergency process. So the idea is that no water would go down um, into the uh, Spanish Town area and indeed beyond to cause any flooding at all from this source. Uh, maybe their canals would probably get some drainage flows in it, but not, not so much from the real corporate. At the heart of its mission, it's a service it provides for its many customers. Service is delivered through two main areas, the on-farm water management unit and the operation center. The on-farm water management unit is responsible for soil moisture testing, farm water management, water quality monitoring, water demand survey, and advisory services. The operation center through its mechanical, electrical maintenance and workshop units effects repairs to the system and makes measuring devices and flow control structures. Separate and apart from the farmers who are our principal customers, we also provide water to some commercial entities such as the National Water Commission. We provide untreated water to them and they in turn process it and provide potable water to residential customers. In addition, we provide water to uh, shrimp farmers, livestock farmers, and we also provide water to the salt factory in St. Catherine area. So we do have a wide uh, customer base in terms of our delivery offerings and for these different customers we do have different rates. Through various irrigation methods, the NIC ensures that farmers are able to produce the best yields. I am imploring NIC to really bring in the new system which they are thinking about that the farmers, and not only myself alone, but the farmers along the line coming towards me will be benefited and all Jamaica will eventually benefited from the new, new system which will be increasing yield, providing more sugar for the country. Well, it has helped quite well in that we now have water on the land. There was a problem before in farming because farmers could not produce because they had to depend on rainfall and as you know rainfall is very unpredictable and this area is a fairly dry area so um, without the water it was difficult to, to produce on the land but now that we have water it's much much easier. On the NIC they, they provide the hydrant with the water and we would use our pipes and hose to run the water from there onto the farm so that we would have the supply of water to water the, the plants. It works with weed control and because we have less weed grow because where the water drips, that's where the weed grows and we, we can manage it better. How does it help? It enhances the farm a lot. Tell me how. Well, it saves time in terms of, take for example, I'm fertilizing here now. I have 4,000 plants in this field. And if I should imply somebody to fertilize it, it, it takes me about three, four days. And it's going to take me a hour. So you see the vast, see, you will save money and time. If the farmer can get 10 pounds of yam or cucumber, where he was getting five or six, life is improving more to sell, more to eat, and so forth. It has, a, as I told you, water is one of the most critical factors in the production chain. The organization's commitment goes beyond what it provides for the farmer and extends to farm families and farming communities. The NIC has therefore embarked on a major project to reduce the cost of water to its customers and improve its customer service delivery. Our principal challenge within the NIC is energy. Um, it affects us in two ways. One, our own cost of operations generally right across the organization and secondly in, secondly, in terms of the rate that we have to charge our farmers for water. Because if the NIC is to be sustainable at all, we have to you know, pass these rates on to our customers as part of our cost recovery um, strategy. So we are seeking to um, embark on energy conservation methods. But whereas I spoke to you earlier about the major project, inter which is for the 
the research and development of a wind turbine um, system, we also are faced with that energy challenge right across our offices. And so we, have, we are constantly embarking on um, making more efficient our internal energy systems. Crucial to improving the efficiency of our water use is the promotion of drip irrigation systems. The rainwater harvesting project um, is a pilot project really here which look at capturing rainwater which as you know is free, storing it and providing the facility, efficient facility of using it to enhance agricultural production among small farmers. It helps me in so many ways. For example, you see now that the melons are, are crowding up, I don't have to walk up and down in it to do the watering. So my vines get to roam as free as possible. As you can see, the vines are fresh now because they are not being disturbed by anything in any way. So it, it, the drip system works wonderfully. In addition to workshops and demonstration plots, farmers are encouraged to attend farmers' field schools. These schools are focused on guiding farmers through hands-on experience in field observation and season-long research in taking a crop from planting to harvesting. The NIC has also established a research center in Honslow in St. Elizabeth. The approximately six acres of land was assigned by the Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries and is used to introduce farmers to the proper and most efficient methods in growing crops. The center's demonstration plot is used to investigate the different methods of pressurized irrigation systems and the improved technology that will allow farmers to produce crops economically and efficiently. Ultimately, the research center will house an office, living quarters for a research assistant, plant nursery, and a storage room along with approximately four acres to be used primarily for irrigation research. We're working on completing an IDB project um, and this covers the project areas of Yalas, uh, Kalbeck and uh, the New Forest area. The Kalbeck project area whereas they, their irrigation system is already in place but the agricultural aspect is currently being undertaken by us to ensure that our, our irrigation systems that are already developed in that area uh, are fully utilized and the farmers can benefit from these system, systems efficiently, as efficiently as possible. Uh, currently within the Yalas area and the New Forest areas we are in the process of completing uh, approximately some $470 million of projects which uh, have commenced um, last year and we're seeking to complete these projects by October of this year with I think the final phase of the new forest project to be completed by sometime December, early January. The stakeholders are, are very welcoming of the project because they see the inherent benefit of having um, such a project in, in their respective communities. Uh, in fact, uh, in Yalas, we visited uh, the development in Yalas and questions were being asked as to when we will be able to expand uh, that um, particular network. So uh, the stakeholders uh, they see the benefit. Uh, some, in fact, most can't wait um, for, for, for the systems to be commissioned because um, we still have persons in Jamaica who are very much interested in farming and they know that um, without um, proper irrigation systems, they won't be able to farm in the, in the manner they would want to do in a cost-effective way. Another project which is uh, it's not, this one is not short term, it's sort of a longer term. We, we have a very strong collaboration with the um, National Environment and Planning Agency, NEPO, and this speaks to the whole management and maintenance of the drainage areas, particularly along the Black River, where we, we jointly operate a boat and coxswain for the cleaning of the river and maintaining not just... It, we try and maintain that river in a state which is very environmentally friendly, and we work with them to, you know, in that instance. This catchment system that is behind us 
was built by the Moravian Church in Lititz um, a long time ago, many years ago. And it, as the community will tell you, serve this community Lititz as well as the neighboring community with um, water, both for domestic and for agricultural purposes. The UNDP United Nations and um, the Forestry Department undertook this project in terms of rehabilitating it um, under the theme of sustainable land management, capacity building for sustainable land management. And hence um, the NIC was given the um, responsibility of undertaking the project management duties for this particular rehabilitation work here. Apart from the rehabilitation of this catchment, this rainwater catchment system, we also developed four demonstration plots. What we are aiming to achieve is to change the attitude of farmers through capacity building. So the project itself is not only about rehabilitating the rainwater catchment system to provide water for farmers, but it's also geared at training farmers, educating them in proper land management practices, proper irrigation technique, and also the entire business of crop care and crop protection. Central to the NIC being effective and meeting its strategic objectives is its dedicated staff. I'm supported by a very strong team, a very strong, knowledgeable and experienced team and well-qualified team who have been with the organization for years. I have uh, an engineering core team because, you know, NIC, although we have a strong administrative team, it's our core business. It's uh, the engineering aspect of our operations and we have a strong team headed by a director of engineering and technical services. We also have a project unit which is directly responsible for the implementation of these uh, projects from IDB, CDB. Um, we also have, and that's headed by a project uh, director as well. Um, we have a finance director in place uh, who takes care of all our budgetary requirements, our corporate planning and that kind of thing. We have a, a pretty broad based team, but at the heart of it though is the, the willingness and the effort that the team puts in. We must function at all times as a first-class company uh, providing first-class service and what that requires is a strong and talented team which I'm proud to say that we do have within the NIC. The National Irrigation Commission Limited developing and sustaining an efficient irrigation system in Jamaica while transforming the lives of farmers and farm families.